on folks this is MJ with Min.io and welcome back to another video on setting up the lab environment to deploy Kubernetes and then deploy Min.io on top of that Kubernetes cluster. So this is the course setup walkthrough. A couple of notes here. First the OS requirements. This is based on Ubuntu 22.04. If you choose another installation method your commands may vary so please take that into account. Also, you need to ensure that Linux host has sufficient resources to run the Kubernetes cluster. As before, uh, we recommend eight vCPU and 16 gigs of RAM, and also a user with pseudo privileges in order to run a lot of these install steps is required. Let's dive right into the next portion where we're actually gonna install the kubectl command line. So kubectl is the command line tool for Kubernetes. It allows you to run commands against Kubernetes clusters. And you can install kubectl by following the instructions at the link here on the screen. We'll also put that link in the description, but this is the basics of that command. You're basically gonna run a curl command and then run an install against the package that pulls down. And it, that will get copied into the user local bin kubectl path so that you can access kubectl from anywhere within the installation on your Linux machine. Let's jump over to the lab and see how to install this. So before we jump into the lab environment, you'll want to visit that link that I have posted in the slides and in the description box below. And you'll notice that there's a number of install options here. We're going to be following along with the Linux install option. So you'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll note that there's a few different commands that you can run uh, depending on whether you're running on x86 or ARM64. So you can choose which one you want to run, but I recommend x86 for the best experience for all of these different components. Uh, Mino is capable of running on ARM64. But for a lot of these other components, things get weird sometimes if you try to run on ARM64. So you will run this command here, and then you can validate that binary to make sure it's actually the binary that you expect and it's not something malicious. And then the last piece that you'll do is actually run the install command for that. So let's jump into the lab and actually see that in action. So I'll go ahead and run that first curl command. And that's going to download the kubectl binary to this system. The next command that it recommends that you run is the sudo install command. And like I said before, it will copy it to user local bin kubectl so that it's accessible from the command line path. So now that that's installed, if we run kubectl get pods, you'll note that it doesn't actually connect to anything right now, but this does confirm that this is actually up and running. And if we run kubectl dash dash help, we can actually see that that has installed and it gives you a number of different options that you could use when running kubectl command line. There's also a great cheat sheet on the Kubernetes website if you want to go learn more about how to use the kubectl command line. But this is installed. The reason that we got an error is because we have not installed the Kubernetes cluster yet. So we'll get to that in just a few other videos. But for now, that's all there is to installing the kubectl command line. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.